Well, good morning. I've just been reading an article online saying the government is still spending around $150 million to do studies, work groups, proposals on the cycle lane across Auckland Harbour. I think it's time for Mayor Goff to say to the government, can you please stop spending taxpayer money on stupid ideas that are at the moment not required? Now, look, I'll be open about this. A cycle bridge or a walk bridge across the harbour would be kind of cool. It'd be a great tourist attraction. You could pop along there for an evening stroll, do all sorts of things like that. Great photo opportunities out there. But not now. We don't have the funds right now. Look at all the money that has been spent on COVID problems. We can't go building bridges across Auckland Harbour just as a vanity project from a handful of ministers in government. They needs to stop. And this current mayor needs to tell them no. Now, last year, remember, I put in a proposal, which obviously the government did not see. Hmm. Anyway, to just simply get a couple of transport vans and some bike trailers, rotate them on a cycle in the peak hours, morning and late afternoon, and get some proper empirical evidence, some real data on how many cyclists will actually use a crossing as their mode of transport to and from work. I strongly suspect, as I think many of you do, not many would use it for that. Use it for recreational cycling, Yes, but for actual reduction in transport across the bridge in the mornings and afternoons to get back and forwards to work, I cannot see it happening, a handful at most. But this is speculation, and this is my point. You see, if we actually set this up, which would not cost a lot, it wouldn't cost much at all, certainly not hundreds of millions of dollars of studies, for a few months, we've got the data. Who really will use a crossing on a push bike? On Auckland's Harbour. I'm pretty sure we already know the num numbers, but let's do it properly. Anyway, so Mayor Goff, will you please grow some kahunas and say to this government, stop it. You're being silly right now. That money could go into other important things around Auckland if you really need to spend it. If you're really that desperate to throw your money around, we can put it into real things like infrastructure. Here's the kicker, though. They don't want that because there's no vanity in infrastructure. You can't have a statue, a trophy of your legacy with infrastructure, can you? Water pipes, sewage upgrades, storm overflow, clean up the creeks that flood places like Kumiu. No, we couldn't do that because what legacy would that leave for us? We don't have a shining trophy like the Erebus Memorial. See, there's a perfect example of where money should not be spent. Not now. We've got much smarter things that need doing, much more important. So anyway, my two cents on this government throwing money yet again at a stupid idea when there's other ways of doing Oh, and by the way, how pissed off will the rest of the country be that people like Woodhouse and this Labour government are constantly throwing hundreds of millions of dollars into Auckland on vanity projects that don't even get started? And the rest of the country is like, but we need some money too. We've got things that need doing. <laughs> I know, I'd be pissed off. You can see why so many of the country hates Aucklanders. What do you do? What do you do, says Tony Soprano? What can you do? Anyway, that's my ramble for the morning. Talk to you again later. And by the way, don't forget, vote Craig Lord for mayor. Pragmatic, sensible, integrity, honesty. Yeah, even my wife would admit that. Bye-bye for now.